Just another win, fourth in a row for this team. Uh, just describe what it's meant to see this team find a way now four consecutive weeks. I think this one, you know, this one obviously means a lot because of the winning. I mean, we're, these seniors and, and, you know, like Coach Miles said from the beginning, when they ask why, when they ask how did you do it, you know, and I think that's exactly what you saw today was, you know, you saw last week a, a, a program win that was of a different nature and you saw this week a program win versus um, you know a completely different type of team but a program win of a different nature and that's you know when you're a good program when you're a good program that's what you have to do it's you know sometimes it goes one direction sometimes it goes another direction sometimes it all goes your way sometimes it doesn't but you find a way and that's what we did today i mean we great special teams we were, we were timely on offense and then our defensively i mean it's i mean by far by far, I mean, when you look at it, I mean, probably one of the best defensive games we've had. And, and you talk about having a great moment to do it against a great, you know, they're tough. We said that earlier in the week, this is going to be a, a, a tough physical game, and it was on both sides of the ball. Well, of course, I asked you about turnovers, and you said the reason why we've had so much success is not talk about it. And, of course, Ryan throws an interception there early. You could blame that me. Give me an assist. But in all honesty, <laughs> how did you guys <laughs> – Does it go on your stats and not his? <laughs> we we, we on, can talk. Man. I don't know if the NCAA will allow that, but we'll try. We'll, we'll get you another year of eligibility. We'll count it against you. <laughs> there you I mean, you get a tip pass. There's yeah. nothing you can do about it. You know, it's that's one of those that goes – yeah, that's, that's that goes either way. You know, what I, what, what I thought we did a good job today was grinding it out. You know, and I look back and, you know, like I just, we just talked offensively, you know, I wasn't going to make the same mistake that I made versus Northern Iowa against a really solid defense that really was, you know, been one of the top 10 in the country and they're that way for a reason. You know, we were going to grind it out. We thought we had some stuff that we could get to and we did. And then we were able to control the clock at times, which put them behind. As long as we were playing ahead and as long as we were playing ahead by multiple possessions, as long as we were able to take the clock, then we were taking possessions away from them. I think we had, what, a six or seven minute drive in the fourth quarter. You know, we didn't get points, but we kept them on the long field. We kept them playing on the long field. We get an interception and then we make them use their timeouts. And now all of a sudden it's a different game. You know, and yes, you don't want it to come down to, um, you know, the onside kick, but it did. And Rondell Green makes a great play, it makes a great play. And you, I mean, you can just tell how well coached we are across the board because the adjustments that we had to make is it was, you know, the the lineup for the uh, for the onsides was a little bit different. And they kept shifting on us. So, I mean, our, our, our players have, you know, I mean, it's it's. There's really not a whole lot of words. I hate to say it. I know it's a long winded and I don't mean to be that way, but it's just, you know, it's just it's it's amazing. It really is. When you think about today, obviously, whenever you get the football, I know you want to be able to capitalize and score. But the moments you scored today off the fumble of Markel Smith, off the first interception that Davis threw. And then when your defense is able to stop him on fourth and short and get the football back, you get that pass late to really seem like every time you were able to force them into a mistake, you were able to jump up. Right. And, I, you know, we had talked throughout the week. I mean, at, at this stage of the game, when you look at numbers and, and, you know, I mean, everybody says stats can be deceiving and I get that. But at this stage in the game, I mean, it really does give you a pretty good snapshot of who you are. This was a defense that wasn't giving up big plays. This was a defense that, that, that played really well against the run. They are big and physical and they do down the ball really well from the secondary all the way down to the front. And we knew it was going to be a situation where we needed to have some timely plays, create some big plays, and, and we did that. You know, it's not as pretty as some of our other games have been, but the, the, the main goal of the offense is to score. And we scored more than they did. And, you know, and that's where, that's where you know, the other facets of the game really played in. And our Indiana defense did a phenomenal job against a great running back and a great running team. I mean, they did a phenomenal job. And, and you could tell. I mean, you could just feel it that there was never a doubt in, in anything that we were doing. We knew we were going to win this as a team, and that's exactly what we did. Coach Heck, your team is now two. Our team is now two and zero oh in November. Coach Mallory said you want to make November to remember. Right. Well, you got one more to have a chance to get that seventh win, and then see what happens with the committee and see where it can all end up next week in Macomb. Right, and and you know the the, the main thing here is that that stuff's out of our hands. You know, what we've done now is is all those seniors and everybody in this program, now they're winners. And we've gone from 0-11 to a winning season. 
to and I, I you know how many winning seasons has there been you know I mean you you do you do a great job with all that stuff you know over the last 10 or 15 years well these seniors now are going to put their names in the record books and they're going to remember as these are the guys that turned and we told the seniors last year look we're sorry it didn't happen but when it does happen, you're going to be a big part of it, and it and it and it happened, and and they were part of it. These seniors right now are part of it, and they're building a tradition and a culture here that's going to be able to be sustained. There's only been four winning seasons since 1998. This is number five, Coach Heck. Congratulations! Oh, one more week to go. I knew you would have that on there. Four winning seasons since so five winning seasons since 1998. So 20 years. Is my math right? Yeah. I, I think you're right off the top of my head. I know. Cl close. I wasn't a math major. Five that's why. I seasons in 20 years and you know I mean yes you know well, we'd like to have done some things better offensively absolutely but at the end of the day you know that's what matters and, and winning matters and you know however it happens winning matters and that's the most important thing that's what we did. Coach Heck enjoy this one before we get to McComb. We definitely will. Thanks Coach Heck.